Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded series. I am just going to pause one second. I really just started the episode and I'm pausing already, but there you go. One moment. Okay, we're good. Anyways, <laughs> let's carry on. Sorry, I need to check my audio. My audio has been really fucky recently, so I wanted to make sure that it wasn't messing up. But let's go with uh, let's go with a bit of Tainted Maggie. Here we go. I do love a bit of Tainted Maggie. I think she's very, very good. Um, and we get Case of Conquest. Case of Conquest might actually be pretty good for us here. Although we do have to remember we're going to take full heart damage from running into these bad boys, which is potentially rife with um, with incidents. But otherwise, we should be okay. I don't actually know for sure, to be honest, if the champions... Um, oh, yes. If the champions do double damage from Case of Conquest, but I'm pretty sure they do. We have a luck penny in here. I kind of think we just do this, yeah. I knew that was going to hurt me, but I was willing to take the brunt of the damage. Uh, we've got to check shops, because Nun's Habit could be could be my hero baby. It could wipe away my tears. Okay, so I think champions drop, sometimes drop two red hearts. <gasps> Ooh, Blessed Leaf, hell yes. We've seen Blessed Leaf before. If we keep it until the next run, we get an extra trinket. It increases the odds of us finding Eden's Blessing, which in itself is a blessing. One, because it's a tears up that's actually very, very good. But two, because it's um, it's going to mean that our future runs are good. And we've actually learned you can get more than one uh, Eden's Blessing from this. So we could end up getting quite a few Eden's Blessings from this, which could be kind of interesting. Let's check what we get here. I was going to say, if that was Eden's Blessing, that'd be great. We did just get a luck upgrade, which is pretty awesome, actually. Uh, that's gonna that poop's gonna thingy again there, so I'm just gonna wait for that to do its thing. Do its thing. Have we got both of our secret rooms in this room? Why thank you. Do you know what? Screw you. I really should have saved that for the boss, but there you go. What's done is done. I kinda wanna take that pill, but at the same time I don't, because if it's a health down, I will just have the largest amount of depression. So I'm 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 gonna not bother just just for that reason, because I do not want to be depressed. Anyways, let's blow this up. Oh my lord. Okay, things are going things are going well for us this floor, I've gotta say. Things are going very well for us. Let me just quickly destroy this. I love this big old HD vectorized keeper. Especially when he gives me a nickel. Right. We, I'm pretty sure our shop was was absolute dong water, right? I'm pretty sure it was just like mum's uh, purse or whatever it is, the one that gives you a bunch of pills. So I don't think we'll be taking anything from that, but I will check it again. Yeah, unfortunately, not very good. But we'll probably end up using a bomb in the boss here. Uh, yeah, do you know what? Especially, con I can't believe the absolute play that dude just made. Okay, we need to be really careful. This is a genuinely awful boss room. What the hell? Okay, it <laughs> doesn't matter. I insta-killed them. Now... Do we want the pony? Because flight plus speed could be very useful. And I'm, I'm going to stick with Bob's Rotten Head just because I simply like it more. Uh, we are going mother here, so we will try to uh, try to go mother. Let's give it a go. Make our way down. Hopefully we can get some HP up. It's a little a little bit of a shame to, uh, to have a boss item basically be completely poo-poo for us straight away. But it's the way of the world, I guess. The way of the world. Right, um... Make sure we don't lose our devil deal here, or at least hope. Okay. That was a little bit of a bad hit there, but we should be fine. A lot of money. Lovely. And then here we got Continuum. I'm going to take it because it does increase the range of our lethal hugs. Range does affect that, so that's pretty good. Um, this is kind of a weird room here. Ooh, also it affects um, Bob's Rotten Head, which... I don't particularly know if that's a good thing or not, I have to admit. <laughs> Having Bob's Rotten Head be able to go through walls could be problematic. Ooh, this is an interesting room for Maggie here. I like it. Nice, I love stuff like that. Um, on Wound Beyond replaces... Nah, we don't want that, do we? I mean, we've got a trinket we really want to keep anyways. Okay, let's just go back and get the secret room. I love having your listen just for this guaranteed secret room finding potential. We should get a hell of a lot out of this over the course of a run. 
Also, what is going on with our chests? Like, we, it's like we have Mum's Key. We're getting just ridiculously good drops. It's awesome. <laughs> I absolutely love it. We definitely want to be going shop. Like I said, Nun's Habit would be just insane with this setup. There's that. Uh, it's a big old uh, thingy. So, okay. Smelts four random trinkets onto you. That sounds awesome. Um, so, we're going to go with the smelter here. Uh, just to smelt this onto us. Then we're going to smelt four random trinkets onto us. Um, ooh, okay. Okay. Do you know what? We got some really good stuff there. I like it. Okay, let's take the soul heart because why not? So, we actually got some really good stuff here because... Now, we have the extra transfer items from Golden Horseshoe. We have the old capacitor, which means we can't charge by normal means, but we'll get extra batteries, which is problematic. Uh, then we have the expansion pack, but we also have the torn... Um, what the hell happened then? Uh, we also have the torn thingy, my bob. The, but yeah, the, the, the torn pocket. The torn pocket is really good, by the way. You may be noticing, I'm taking an unholy amount of damage right now. I'm trying to make this work, but it's a little difficult. Yeah. Tom Pocket's pretty interesting. The old capacitor kind of screws us. We do have outs, but at the minute it kind of screws us. Right, to the next floor. I, I realized I bought um, bought Smelter just to have one trinket, but that's fine with me. That toy box thing that smells the random trinkets, I love that. That's amazing. Yeah, I'm a little annoyed that we got old capacitor because it's going to be kind of hard to get battery charges now. Um, but it does make it does make higher charge items a little higher priority, so I'm happy about that. But what I'm really hoping for is, like I said, just getting Nun's Habit or something like that. That would be just incredible. But yeah, as you can see, whenever we get hit... We're going to drop two things from our inventory, which can spawn as better versions. Oh, wait. Oh, no, 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 no. I just realized something. Also, hell yes, we need this. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I need to, I need to just hold it. I'm dumb. Excuse me. Yeah, we need to just hold this. I'm dumb. Um, Right, that's really, really good for us. Uh, but I've just realized... We, um, we aren't going to get any charges for Yum Heart now, which is obviously problematic. Okay, this is gone now. That's fine. Um, yeah, that's obviously problematic. We're going to have some issues with that. The one thing that is a problem, as you just saw there, is we can have this issue where a bomb drops and it drops as a troll bomb, meaning we technically just lose the bomb. We just got a health up. I risked it. Do, do you know what? I don't know why I bombed into there. That was just a terrible idea. But yeah, whenever we get hit, obviously blind rage is going to mean we get hit less here because we get way more iframes, which as this character is genuinely fantastic. Genuinely amazing. Um, ooh, also... What is going on there? There's a huge pit. Um, yeah, we got some interesting stuff. I'm, I'm, I'm very annoyed about Old Capacitor. <laughs> Old Capacitor is genuinely terrible as this character. Because we can't charge Yum Heart, which obviously is quite problematic. Quite problematic indeed, but we're gonna have to we're just gonna have to deal with it. We're just gonna have to deal with it. What it comes down to. We, got, we ain't got a choice. Ooh, that's a broken heart. Okay, knowing they can spawn is scary. They should not be able to spawn from Maggie's drops. That is not okay. But yeah, we should we should be able to uptick our consumable gain pretty easily via this torn page synergy, which is really interesting. I'm, I'm, I'm glad to have it. And it, it works really well with blind rage as well. It, like, synergizes quite well. We've got golden keys here, which is awesome. Means we can get some bombs. But yeah, it's just a little shame we can lose bombs. Yeah. The old capacitor is just absolutely awful. Um, we can get nerve pinch. Ends have a 50% chance to explode. Oh, that's not nerve pinch. Uh, create a bullet explosion of red creep. The explosion deals your current damage and then spreads. Yes, that sounds great. Oh, that's so good. That's so, so good. I love that. 
yeah, it's, it's put us in a sticky situation, to say the least. Uh, but, hey her, Right. I, one thing that I'm a little sad about as well, we have expansion pack, which means we use another active upon using our act active, which could have been really fun if we were getting charges normally with Bob's Rotten Head, but we're not, so it's not that great. It could be good though. It has the potential. Let's hope for an angel deal here. We did not get one, but we did get Eden's Blessing. Very, very nice. Uh, and we will head down to the next floor. Oh, we need to go and get our key piece, don't we? Do you know what? I might make... I will go to the mines here. And please forgive me for this. But I may make the executive decision to not do Mother. Mainly because Tainted Maggie versus Mother is really difficult for one main reason. Uh, oh, that's pretty nice. Uh, one main reason in that you... Um, do you know what? Let's Let's do the safe way around this. You risk going into the, the chase fight and obviously losing all your HP from it just draining and not being able to use Yum Heart and that causing some issues. I've had that happen before and it's, it's always an absolute bummer when it does. So. Situations like this are going to be pretty hard for us actually because we're going to have to go and do our key piece but we can't run into enemies anymore and our health is constantly draining too. So... Luckily, I think our blood explosion thingy will, will I wouldn't say save us, but it'll put us in a much more decent position. Because it's going to be start these chain reactions, which are just lovely. I actually absolutely, absolutely love this item. It'd be a little nicer if the explosion was a little more meaty sounding, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to fret. Ooh, give us an item, give us an item. Yes! See? Look at this, people. Look at this. I don't even know how good Astral Projection is going to be as Maggie. This could be a really bad item to pick up, you know. Because uh, let me let me go over Astral Projection in a moment here. Uh, I'm a little worried about this room, I've got to admit. Let me get, get the hell out of here. I'm in a really bad spot right now. Yeah, so that's uh, that's part of the uh, the mod that I made with, um, with Pedroff there. Where whenever you destroy it whenever you open a haunted chest or if you um open a spike chest 15 percent chance that you'll get an item themed around ghost items for haunted chests or on hit items for spike chests i really like it i think it's a really cool idea i hope other people like it as well but yeah let's just quickly take a little look here at um astral projection because i think it's gonna cause some issues uh the first hit isaac takes when a room is unclear uh, in uncleared time stops for two seconds that isaac becomes a ghost and leaves his body behind which drops to the floor while in the ghost form isaac has flight spectral tears and the next hit he takes is negated isaac's tear speed is greatly increased okay oh my health's still draining while i'm in the encyclopedia that could be fixed that would be a good thing to fix i'm sure see if we can buy a red heart from in here real quick just to top ourselves off I'm a little worried. I've really got to say I'm a little worried. I, like, not having Yum Heart, uh, like, on a on an easy recharge is very scary. Uh, it's it's not... I wouldn't say it's an item that I require as this character, but I would say it's a lot better. Um, but yeah, so let's just, let's just try this out and see how it goes. Do you know what? This helps. <laughs> this helps. That certainly helps. Oh, I used um, I used the the meat cleaver there. Okay, so how is this gonna work? Oh, this is great. <laughs> okay, I thought astral projection would be a bit fucky. It definitely is, but not in a bad way. So essentially, we get a free hit after getting hit once. We get a free hit, a huge speed upgrade. Oh, this is awesome. And it returns us to the middle position of the room. That's so fucking cool. Like, I just want the flight. Give me the flight. There you go. <laughs> That's awesome. I love that. That's so cool. This burn heart's not going to be um, for the living, by the way. This is it, It's gone. Grab all of these, get into you, and because we've got the slowed down time, our blind rage makes us invincible for so long. Um, random Zodiac, I'm just gonna go for the random item, you know. Hey, Eden's Blessing 2 Electric Boogaloo. 
Extra fire rate is really nice, but more importantly, it means whatever we play next run is going to get a nice significant boost. Oh god, this is a horrible room. I do not like this room. I do not like this room. This room scares the hell out of me. It's, this is just genuinely beautiful. This is such a weird setup, but I love it. Every room, we just get this weird, like, speed boost, flight, time slowdown. Look at that. Oh, I've never considered this as, like, a as like a viable synergy before, but goddamn, it works. I kind of need to keep my, uh, my Bob's Rotten Head charged so that when I find batteries, it actually puts it into Yum Heart. I need to have a Yum Heart charge available just in case, essentially. The one thing I will say, it is making it a little hard to pick things up just because of how fast it makes us. What the hell? We do need a damage up, by the way. Um, I'm noticing at the minute we're kind of struggling from the fact that we uh, don't have much damage, which is, of course, meaning that... Uh, our swings aren't doing, dealing as much. They got a luck penny there. We turned one of our regular pennies into a luck penny. And there's another one turned into a nickel. Ta torn, pit, uh, torn bag or whatever it is. Torn pocket is a god tier trinket for this character. I never thought about it before, but it's so good. Hey, there's a gigabomb if we want it as well. Thank you. I will take a gigabomb. Why not? Hmm. I think we roll here and try and get Nun's Habit. We really need it. That's that. We have to take a third Ethan's Blessing, though. That's just that's just a given, right? I really shouldn't play it anymore, because what if it gives us Nun's Habit and we can't afford it? Yeah, how do you feel about that? <laughs> yeah, Singe, you bitch. You think you're all cool with your explosions? Do you feel about that, bad boy? Unfortunately, Marrow is also pretty useless for us here. Oh, look, it's Ethan's Blessing. <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. It's kind of annoying, because obviously we're, we're, we're not really getting items that we want, especially now that we're, the, that we're at the fire rate cap. It's definitely a bit more inconvenient than good. But it's, I do, I do kind of find it funny that on our next run, we're going to get a trinket and four items. Yeah, I find that hilarious. Adoption papers. Adoption papers would kind of be fun. Don't know how good it is for us right now, though. Look at that. Look how many hits we can get in. It's beautiful. Fortunately, nothing there. It's really my style. Yeah, I might have to sand. I, I, like, at the same time, I don't want to bitch out of going to Mother, but I might have to say no, not being able to use Yum Heart. I think it's going to end up getting us killed. And at the minute, I'm kind of in the in the mindset of prioritize the streak. It's good. Get out of there. Yeah, I'm kind of in the mindset of let's prioritize the streak. Make sure the streak is sort of the thing that we try and keep alive most. I just love how fast it makes as well. We can like... Get to the other side of the room in, a, in an instant. And it negates the hit as well. Like, Astral Projection is so good. Yeah, I think, I, I think I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna say no. But I will go to Mausoleum, though, if I can. I will go to Mausoleum if I can. But doing the, doing the chase sequence as this character is just hell on earth. 
Oh, we got a golden penny. Nice. And a luck penny. See, this is just... It's insane. It's actually insane how good this is. This is such a weird run. We've got one ridiculous anti-synergy, two incredible synergies, and then on top of that, um, we've got the blood explosions, like, and the Eden's Blessings going on. It's just, it's great. I love it. Got you by accident. Didn't mean to, but there you go. That's so good. Okay, that that helps a lot with not having uh, having charges. This is this is one thing I don't get though. Like this character is very good without Yum Heart, so I don't really get why the devs decided to give this character Yum Heart as a pocket item. It seems a little bit overkill. I mean, I, I get they didn't want they wanted to make it fun and not too hard, but at the same time, it is kind of crazy. We have got a black market here and a lot of health. Nun's habit could be in that in the in the cards for us here. Um, ooh, sharp plug. There you go. Sharp plug is sharp plug's a pretty good item break. <laughs> yeah. Do we have a reroll machine in here? We unfortunately don't. We do have car battery, though, which is nuts as it is. And do you know what? Yeah, I'll take Sackhead as well. It's good shit. Got a golden penny there as well. Need to do this in a smaller room, really. Right, let's play this guy out first. He's in a really awkward position to play quickly. Oh, there you go. You get bum friend. No, thank you. I do not care for you. Uh, I can play you, right? Oh, double dime. Yeah, we, we just absolutely broke the game. We got this, which is... Gives you one heart and one broken heart. Okay, so let's let's use this at least once. Oh wait, let's use it twice. Yeah, I think that's good. Right, let's stop doing what I'm doing now. Heal up again. With with um, what's it called? Uh, do, do you know what? Bum friend, you might be good. <laughs> I'm a little more inclined to go to uh, Thingy now, but I, I, d I still don't want to do the chase sequence. As this character, the chase sequence is ass. It just is. I'm going to do this just to get the nickel and blow up the skulls. Same here. Yeah, I'm going to leave Bum Friend. He's too much of a pain in the ass. I'm sorry, buddy. Right, bye. <laughs> Thanks for the game break. See you later. But yeah, now if we go into like a smaller room that we've got a bit more space in. Actually, there's a small room right here, look. Coming up in a sec. Here we go. And then we can just go... There you go. <laughs> Got a bit of that unlimited money, you know? Oh, goddamn, I love this game. <laughs> this is what I mean why you shouldn't have Yum Heart. What I was just saying. These are the reasons this is not a good idea. Right, shop, have a reroll machine, please. You don't. You do have tarot cloth, though. I'll definitely take that. Right, go fight the boss.
Okay, I do... It is slightly annoying that whenever I want to heal, I have to, like, cover the floor in all of my pickups and, pick, and re-pick them back up, but it's the cost of doing business, I suppose. Another luck penny, just up to eight luck, you know. You know how it is. <laughs> it's good that the Tom Pocket drops pickups the amount of health that you lose as well. Not, It doesn't just drop two pair hit, it drops two pair the amount of health that you lose. Hey, Dumpies. Oh shit, I'm stuck. Ah, fuck. I think one of them is a sticky nickel. Another lucky penny. Good, good, good. You know. You know how it be. Good, good. Ooh, bit more HP. That's good for me. Thank you. So yeah, let's uh, quickly crack that open. <sighs> right, okay. So if I go like this, and then I need to find a, a good way of doing this. Basically, my question is, if I head in here, am I going to have Yum Heart a bit available? I'm pretty sure I am, right? Also, secret room, boss room here. Should go and check that out. I love... It's just this game breaks so dumb. I love it. Game breaks so dumb. Plus center. That's pretty good. I mean, I can literally just do this. I'm literally invincible if I just keep doing that. I do lose all my money, but I can get it back. Most of it respawns as golden pennies anyway, so... It's all good. Red chest, gonna give us some troll bombs, thank you. Right. Leave all that in there. Right, so I wanna I wanna be entering here. Wait a minute, there's a red heart back over here. Let me go get that. I wanna I wanna do this. Have that ready. Grab that. I think placenta just healed me there. Okay, I don't actually have any uh, ability to, to get through that. Because <laughs> I'm a dumbass and don't have any bombs. Right, so if I do that and then go and do this. Okay, now I have a Yum Heart ready. Please say it doesn't let me keep Yum Heart. I'm a dumbass. I've, I've just entered here with less health than I should have. That's stupid of me. But as long as we can be quick, we'll be fine. We have a lot of HP. I just, I fear because like it takes so long to get through this area. As you can see, our HP is already dropping rapidly. We just have to be very, very careful is all. Right. Three, two, one, go. Some new room varieties here I haven't seen before. I don't know how many of these are added via mods and how many of these are just like default, but they're scary. They're very scary. To be, to be fair, I don't get hit on this too much anymore, but it's still like... More than, more than zero times, which is scary. I hate these ones where it makes you backtrack a lot. Makes us take extra time. And then the lag helps and doesn't help at the same time. It makes it really hard to play. But at the same time, it really saves me because I have more time to make my decisions. Oh shit, I hate this one. We've got to, like, bring a bomb all the way down here. Just charge me, bitch. Oh, for God's sake! Why can the fucking bombs get caught on the bomb throwers? So annoying. Charge me, you fucking queen. Right, we're basically in the clear now, I think. 
Yeah, there's one hit. Dude, this is so annoying. Go away. Get out of my face, you stupid biatch. Right, back to full health. Scary as hell. I tell you, every time. It scares the shit out of me. Right. On our bike. Let's go. Remember when we couldn't charge our active item? Lol. <laughs> that was a funny time. Anyways. <laughs> right, we now have unlimited health, so we, we, we literally cannot die unless we make some just terrible decisions. Unfortunately, we just got a setup in which... Um, oopsie. We just got a setup in which we can no longer get a second shop, so... This shop better have a restock machine in it. That's all I'm saying. Dude, why are you not dead? There you go. So funny. I love it. I need some bombs to get some bomb economy going on. Like I said, troll bombs just end up kind of ruining it a little bit. I really need some damage ups as well. That's another thing we don't have. Like, we're still on base damage. In fact, we're on lower than base damage, right? Maybe? Ooh, this is good. Well, that gave us cancer. I kind of want it. Don't give me a health down. Okay. You bastard. What did I just say? Veracruz veins. Hell yes. Okay, Veracruz veins is good. Right. I think we actually want to drop Blind Rage now so we can take cancer. Just because we want to be getting hit more. We don't need extra iframes anymore. Now that we have an on-hit item, iframes are like the least of our worries. Really should be popping off before I get this bombs. Coupon is more useful than the other, so I'll, I'll take it. Oh my lord, I didn't even think about this. You just douse a room in shots, and they're all continuum shots too. It's beautiful. Another luck penny. We're at 12 luck. I really hope we get some luck-based hero effects coming up soon. Just do that, and then let the, uh, <laughs> let the onslaught ensue. Oh, that's so cool. Now we need a bomb. There you go. Oh, that's a double tinted rock. I didn't realize. <laughs> oh, this is so fun. Right, let's try and get ourselves some bomb economy going on. See, look, there's a troll bomb. That's one of our bombs wasted already. Yeah, we just all we did is waste a bomb there. That's annoying. Also, our keys are going all over the place. Right, let's get this double tinted rock going up. Small rock is good. Unfortunately, the speed down is pretty tragic, but the damage up is very necessary. No, thank you. Oh, there's a Soul of Eden there. Ooh. This is... This is good. I don't know how necessary it is, but we really don't need the Cancer Trinket, which just is a testament to how broken this run is. We got a golden bomb there, nice. That helps us for this floor. This is very cool. Very good, very nice. Very good, very nice. Hey. I love the slurmer, because we get like we get this. Ah, absolute bliss. We lost all of our money in this room. <laughs> I dropped literally every bit of money I have. That's good. Ooh. 
Another luck penny. That's good. Just up to 16 luck. You know how it be. Marked. Hmm. See, Mark's one of those ones where it's like, it is good for us now. But why? why? We don't need it. That's better. That's better. Proptosis is, is way better for us here. Oh, remember the days when this run was in the air and we weren't really sure. On death revive in the previous room with six full hearts, mixed red hearts, soul hearts. No, thank you. Very good, very nice. Yeah, sadly that's our last shop, which is a shame considering the amount of money we have. But it is a good thing considering we don't we no longer need to worry about our money. There's a secret room here. Okay, Proctosis is going to be a little bad for this because we need to actually get close. But it makes it much prettier than it used to be. I like that. I really wish we get some speed up. But luckily Astral Projection is kind of handling the speed for us somewhat. A lot of hearts. Right. On our way back. Need to go find our other item room and hope we can get something saucy. I love the minimap just having red hearts all over it. It's just beautiful. Ooh, this seems like a good idea. Okay. I did unfortunately drop a bomb on it, which was not my intention. I should have really thought about that prior, but there you go. I should have just done it normally rather than spamming my active, but I could not help myself. Hello. Just two for you. Two and done. Oh, there's a, there's a boy here. Hello. How are you? <laughs> How are you? Oh, hello. Knife 2 Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> oh, Proptosis. I will... Not Proptosis. Duplopia. I'm stupid. Uh, I will take, because very good, very nice. We can end up getting some interesting stuff out of that. I would have loved to have done that on the knife just then and had three of them. At this point, I'm glad that I don't need to worry about my money. I'm still picking it up because I can get luck pennies and stuff. And like I said, I might end up getting a luck-based effect. Really? With 20 luck, I don't even win my scratch card? Oop. I I can't hit that guy with, uh, with Proptosis. <laughs> Whoopsie. Hello. Spike chest. Oh, I was really hoping for an on-hit effect there. Although that is an on-hit trinket. That is one of the trinkets that's part of uh, part of my mod. It's just unfortunately not one that we really care about. <laughs> we spike chests are like Maggie's best friend with my mod, so always open them. I mean, as as, Ma as tainted Maggie, you probably would anyways, but still. Do, 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 do. Get this back. Grab that health real quick. Right. I wonder if we're going to find any more Eden's Blessings. I really wish we had like a, a fanny pack or something to go with this to drop like more chests. I love the map. The map is just so full of red hearts. It's hilarious. Good, good. Don't really know what else there is for us to see this floor, but I'm still going with it anyways. How are you still alive after all that? That was an onslaught. This floor's huge as well, god damn. A death card there. Not really necessary for us right now. Make sure we pick up our keys as well. Keys are pretty important for us. And the bombs too, actually. Oh, 
Yeah, we have slightly screwed ourselves with Proptosis just because we don't get that beautiful continuum effect anymore. But at the same time, I'm not really that bothered. Okay, so if there's the item room, finally. Metal plate. Nah, we're going to go with this. We want to try and get on hit effects. Obviously, this wasn't one, but there you go. Boom, bow. Gotcha. Yeah, it's just really the keys and bombs we need back. The money's kind of just like leave it on the floor at this point. There'll always be more. All familiars deal extra contact damage. Yeah, it's got potential, but I really like my uh, my bloody penny right now just for the lols. Yeah, stop. <laughs> just, just stop, sir. More bombs. Ooh, come on. Two haunted chests? How about two haunted items? We need to make him throw it at us from a distance here, like outside of there. Yay, another item. If Isaac takes lethal damage, he automatically picks up any available hearts in the current room, saving him from death. Nice. Right, we have successfully cleared out this floor now. I think we're sitting pretty. I think we can uh, we can bounce. Can we get that? I'm just gonna check. No, we can't. I kind of would like it, but it's okay. Right, we are now on our way out of this floor. Go fight our bosses. This run got real crazy, real fast, didn't it? This run really took a turn. Hello. Bye. <laughs> Ooh, more HP. Just step in that. Have fun. Really? Didn't step in it. You've offended me. Um, we got an angel deal here. That could be nice. Uh, I think we'll just take the damage up. It's going to be the best thing for us. Oh, look, it's Eden's Blessing. Yes, please. Um, <laughs> that is our fourth, no, fifth Eden's Blessing. Whoever we play as, oh, no. Okay, I will, I will rewrite history here. I apologize. I will rewrite history. Stage, I think it's, is it 11, is it 10? Nine? Corpse? 13? 14? 8? 8C. Oh, we're on Utero 2 now. Whoops. Um, I... Maybe it's 7? Yeah, 7C. Okay. I apologize for that. We have since fixed it. Um, I know that I should have fought Mother here. I realize that I've kind of cheated the game here. That was good stuff. Um, but pretend I fought a boss and annihilated it. <laughs> I want to go to the real boss. Like, you can't exactly say that we weren't going to just destroy this entire run anyways, can you? It's not as if it wasn't going to happen. Right, we still need a, a good place to use Diplopia. Maybe I should have diplopia the Eden's Blessing. Got another one. Now that could have been a good trick there. Oh, Dominic. Cheeky. Absolute cheeky. Boom. The enemies explode as well, which is even better. Like, even just running into them, like, normal is pretty insane. Even without the, uh, the whole yum heart strap.
We have a lot of damage now as well, a lot more at least. Which is certainly helping. You see how long that bit lasted for then? <laughs> We're still in astral projection that whole time. We're good. How are you not dead? Yeah, I think Proptosis was maybe a bad decision. It seems to be kind of slowing us down more than speeding us up. This might kill him. Yeah, I'm stupid. That was a bit bad. Ow. Not being able to see my health here is a little scary, but because we have a thingy car battery, we should be fine. Also, if we ever die, this little ghost is going to pick up so much health for us. There you go. A bunch of golden stuff from this room as well. Another luck penny. The luck just keeps scaling. It's insane. Oh, come on, you. You guys don't need to get involved. I don't even know what I've killed here. Absolutely no idea. Oh, it was the it was the dudes that throw out all the uh, globins. Was well, not obvious. Okay, we are at the amount of luck now where we're getting quite a few chests, but still, unfortunately, not many spike chests coming our way. I was really hoping we'd be getting more by now. Ooh, game crashed. Okay, be right back. Okay, let's hope we can get back into that run, shall we? Because that was insane. Unfortunately, we are going to have to replay the floor. But, we kind of know what we're doing now. Maybe, oh, hmm. It changed the items in here, but do you know what? For the better, seemingly. <sighs> I'm just going to deploy of these two. I realize that I, uh, the cricket's head doesn't stack, but I'm pretty sure lead pencil does. <laughs> Also, we don't have a curse anymore, which is just makes me feel way safer. Secret room didn't have anything special in it, right? Oh, it it does. It has an item in it. Did it have an item in it last time? Did we did we even visit it last time? We don't have flight though, so not so good for us right now. We'll see though. We'll see. Right. Oh, okay, we checked this already. Oh, there's a broken heart there. No, thank you. Apparently, um, I was getting much, much longer time in, um, in my astral projection from having blind rage. Because I seem to get a lot less time in it now. That's pretty interesting to note. Seems to be tied to your... Um, Excuse me. Bomb. Ooh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Item. Ah, you bastard. I can't expect too many items out of them, to be fair. There's only a 15% chance. Not often that you have 20 luck, is it? So, we're not, it's not like this is going to happen every run. Right. Just remember what enemy it was that I ran into that crashed. I think it was the little twitchy spider boys. Just don't run into those guys again. Hey, spike chest. We got Isaac's head. That's another one of the specialized trinkets. Um, unfortunately, not great for us. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Actually, no, Isaac's head isn't. Isaac's head's in the ghost pool, I think. Because I just thought, it's dead Isaac, why not? Oh, no, you hit me. What am I ever going to do? Heels to full. Oh, I accidentally blew up that machine. I didn't want to do that. Whoopsie. Okay. Are we, what floor are we on? We're still on Utero, okay, we are on Utero 2 now, right? Okay. Well, bow. Look at all the explosions. <laughs> it's beautiful.
Stop dropping my bombs as troll bombs, you troll of a game. Again, look. I really wish bombs didn't have just a chance to drop as troll bombs by default. It's so annoying. Can these guys, like, pop up and let me kill them, please? And you, and you. Well, shit. Oh my god, stop running into me. I hate these enemies. Terrible design. What the hell's going on here? That was an odd room. Very odd indeed. Right, mother, are you ready to be, in a word, destroyed? Wait, what? The fuck? Why am I here now? What happened? Um... Yeah, sorry about that. I don't know what happened there. Uh, that was not correct. <laughs> hmm. Not correct at all. Guess we're doing an extra floor. I did not even notice we were on the womb. I'm not going to lie. I didn't even pick up on it. I don't know how it took me so long to notice. Like, I did notice, but like, I my brain just didn't connect to that was wrong. It didn't make the connection that, hey, this isn't how was this isn't where we're supposed to be. Brawl space. Oh, I was just about to say, give me another black market. Hell yes. Oh shit, okay. Um, we don't know what we're getting. That's Eden's blessing right there. I can tell that. I don't know what anything else is. I think that that's the eraser. This is the moving box. This is more options. This is Eden's blessing and this is hive mind. I'm actually pretty proud that I got all those right. And you may be wondering, hey, you don't know if you got them all right yet. I do. <laughs> I do. I'm almost I'm almost certain. One of them might have been theirs options rather than more options. But other than that, I think I'm pretty okay. Okay, also we got uh we got this set up again where we get the, the coin heart thingy going on. That's gonna be fun. Yeah, just never do that on a Twitchy, because apparently they just don't like it. I doubt any of these enemies like it, but they really don't like it. Hopefully we get, like, another on-hit effect through uh, spike chests on the way here. I don't know why, but I really want to set those off. Set them free. Be free, my babies. Stop. I love the way the tongue can't hold me down when I've got this astral projection thing going on. You can't stop me now. Boop. Boop. Boop, boop, boop. It's beautiful. It's just... This is one of the most beautiful runs I've ever had. Tinted Maggie just always leads to these wacky, crazy, lovely runs. I don't even know if I asked a question this episode, but if I didn't, what's your best broken run? <laughs> there it is. What's your what's your most broken run you've ever had? Is it anything close to this? <laughs> and and I, I mean as in broken run, not one where you specifically try to break the game. I mean like one where you just play a run and you get a broken syn synergy. Oh look, it's Eden's Blessing. <laughs> Oh my lord. This is obscene. Do you realize? Oh wait, what? We now have the wrong active, right? Do we? Did we have an active before? I don't remember. Oh no, we didn't. Um, but yeah. We now have a run in which we're going to get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven items and a trinket upon starting the next run. That's mental. It's actually mental. 
I, I need to see what mod Eden's Leaf is from, because I need to tell the developers it really shouldn't let you get more than one. <laughs> I, I very... Oh, we need to not do that on these dudes, don't we? Um, I very highly doubt it's intentional. It would be very odd if it is. There's no way you should be allowed to get seven Eden's Blessings in a single run. That's just absurd. Oh, it crashed again? What's going on? Be right back. Okay, apologies everyone. We are back and I've completed that room that was causing the crash. It actually crashed multiple times, so don't really know what was causing that, but we are back to where we were. Um, and yeah, we got we got our items back and everything. Uh, I still have Diplopia. Oh, you see? What's going on? My god. Right, the game clearly isn't having it, so we're just gonna we're just gonna do the, the sensible thing. And we're gonna spawn 300.5, no, 5.300.5, which is gonna give us an Emperor card in which we're gonna use and just fight the boss. We're also gonna exit here and continue so that we're saved in this room. If things go wrong again, we're good to go. Right, get in there. And we're just going to absolutely rinse you. <laughs> absolutely rinse you. Wait until you pop down. And do it again. We're good to go. Second sharp plug break with this character in a row, really. And seven Eden's Blessings. So, yeah. Anyways, I'm just going to take a screenshot of that real quick. Uh, just because, you know. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed that one. Absolutely crazy run. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.